Listen, there is no gift of fasting. There is no gift of prayer. It's a grace, but most of all, it's a sacrifice. We feel hungry, true? <laughs> we too. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the video. Full disclosure, I am recording this intro about um, two months after I filmed the video. But you know, um, if you've watched my update videos, then you know it's it's been an interesting year. It's fine. Everything's fine. I wait. I yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be what video is this? This is the third video. Uh, I've lost track because I have so much content in. I have like six unedited vlogs, guys. So it's been a whole series, and if you've missed the last two videos, they should definitely watch. Um, they're basically vlogs of what life has been like for this year. It's been quite an interesting year for me, and just giving my perspective, and but also what God has been teaching me, and just encouraging anybody else who's not having the you know easiest year around. As far as the scripture is concerned, um, fasting is talked about quite often. The topic of um fasting is discussed in is um not even discussed. It's like seen um in the old testament the new testament it's um a discipline that is so obviously practiced and um it's obviously it obviously honest god and it obviously always brings results like the um one of the best things in life is being able to learn something practice it and seeing the results of it and so when i come out here and recommend something for you because this is what this video is meant to be it's meant to be more encouraging and inspiring rather than um teaching because i think with teaching like you might as well like go search more like with um, preachers and teachers. I personally listened to Miles with this topic. I really like to listen to Miles Monroe. Um, as a daily practice, I listen to a lot of Joshua Selman. Um, but also Vlad, um, Vlad, guys, names. I am Tanzanian. The Nyakusa people are calling me. I cannot pronounce these names. As I said, um, about the discipline of fasting, I'm going to keep like sharing it within the video and then we'll um within the vlog and we'll meet right here for the let's go to the video So this was a juice fast. I had actually never done a juice fast before. Yeah, I think so. I, I don't remember doing a juice fast before. And throughout the scripture, you see many types of fasts that are done. I don't necessarily remember seeing this one in scripture, but in the season that I was in, this is literally the only thing that could work, which is actually what gave me this idea to make a beginner's guide because as you you'll be able as i will talk about it later in the video how much i've been struggling with fasting for the past month or two and um so this was my starting point and it really was didn't slap as hard and i was able to actually do it and so if you have never fasted before i would recommend just starting with this just um juices Yo, I thought I was a little grown. I mean, even with the struggles. But let me tell you, I'm trying to feed a toddler while fasting as a foodie. <laughs> a new level of self control was unlocked that I didn't even think was there. Dear mamas, you can do this too. P.S. I am not a mother, just a aunt. <laughs> old i decided i don't remember how i was already born again i've been born again for a couple of years by then and by the time i was 15 i 14 actually i decided to do a fast and i decided i'm going to be doing a fast every single friday and it will be a 24 hours fast and i'll be breaking it on saturday morning so all i can i don't remember for how long i did that but i remember just like on and off i'll do it sometimes i'll do it sometimes i wouldn't and then by the time i was 15 which was when i was in from four um 15 16 
I couldn't do it to save my life. Like I could not fast. Like even if I wanted to fast, actually would stop uh, in the middle. And if you are struggling to fast, I just want to say like I totally get it. I I I I've, I've heard people tell me I'm like, "Oh my gosh, how can you do that? How can you do that?" And I'm like, "No, um there's no special grace to fast. Guys, let me tell you something. There's no there's no there's no I mean, there's no gift of fasting. There is no gift of prayer. It it's called it's 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 a grace, but most of all it's a sacrifice. We feel hungry true. <laughs> we too like to watch movies. We too like to do all the entertaining things. It's a sacrifice to decide that I'm going to take this time apart and stay away from food and spend that time in the word and in prayer and just truly I'm um, living out that man shall not live by bread um, shall not live by bread alone but by every word of Just finished filming. Hi, by the way. I think it's finally. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> John finally wants to say hi. Hi. Uh, we just finished filming a video. Um, yeah. So when it's out, I'll tell you guys. I don't know. What's this going up? This month. This month. Yeah. This same month. The end of this month. goes up or oh, no? This the will last be next month. Okay, so by the time you're watching this, this video will definitely be up. So I'll definitely be linking it down below. Hopefully, I remember. If I haven't, such jokes. But I'll try to put it down and you can go watch the video. It's never ever ever. It's fun. Ah, okay. You saw it. You enjoy it. Now. If you're just now hearing it, you should go click off. Actually, no. I was going to say click off this and go watch Go watch that and actually, then come back. Actually, yeah. Go click off. You can off do and that. Go. I don't know if you finish this video. You can go and come back. And then come back and say, I watched the video and give us a feedback. And, or, or even like go comment my video and say, I came from this I came from this video. video. Oh my gosh. Yes. Whether now or after, and you go watch it there, like hear from Alice's video, go say that. Okay. That depends on when she actually posts this. Mm -hmm. I know when I'm posting this. I have a schedule. We're a new person. We're a new paper. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> us. We are not the corporate Alice being unstable in all our ways. No, no, no. That's that's the old Alice. Old woman. Alice. <laughs> old Alice can come to the phone. Why? Because she's gone. She's dead and gone. We're talking consistency now. Okay, this is your friends. <laughs> we can be excited about anything. No, you guys, we, so we called one of our friends today. <laughs> Voice is gone. Anyway, um, update. I am back at home and I'm about to make Simeon dinner. But before I make Simeon dinner, I'm just gonna have some juice because I'm not even hungry. I am kind of tired and I don't want to get as sleepy as I got yesterday. But also, uh, I also want to make his dinner, but my head hurts. So I'm guessing it's from the fast or from not in drinking enough water. I carried my bottle today, but I realized when I was in the car that there was no water in it, so I left it in the car, so I've not had as much water, which I usually, on a non-fasting day, I have like two liters of water or more, so fasting and drinking less than two liters is probably why my head is hurting. So I'm gonna get some water. So I had my morning devotion this morning, I'm very excited because um, I just felt really bad that for like three days in a row, I would keep me missing my morning devotionals which are like really important to me, but I kept missing them, but I got to do it this morning. And yeah, so now I'm currently heading out to um, a coffee shop. Um, we dropped off Simeon. <clears throat> I'm gonna be reading some books and then I'm gonna do some editing and tested and seen that um man shall not leave my bread alone um it is the word of god that sustains us the breath of god that sustains us and i have never regretted a fast 
after years of i don't know it's been 10 years now of fasting like on and off like um i first started fasting 10 years ago and i kid you not i i have i have no fast that i look back and i'm like oh i wish i didn't fast nope if anything, I regret the fasts I didn't do. And so um, I would really encourage you to adapt that discipline as hard as it may be. Because for me, I couldn't fast like 2013, 2014. I think around 2015, if not 2016, is when I tried fasting again. I might have tried it somewhere in the middle there. I don't remember. But I think around 2016, 2016 is when I started trying it again for real. And um, I could do it. Like I could pull up maybe a day or two or something. Around that time is also when I um, joined... A new church. I shifted from the home church that I'd been raised in. I was raised in the Lutheran church. I moved to a new church, and um, I think they did a fast, which encouraged me to like try fasting again. And you know, I couldn't do it for as long as they were doing it or in the way they were doing it. But like, I was doing so much better than I'd done in the last maybe two three years. And then. I Another day, another slay. That's what we call it, huh? Anyway, um, yeah, so it is a Saturday morning. We've been up for the last, I don't know how many hours. I think it's 11 now. In my wildest dreams, did I think I'll use an Android again? But see, life be happening. In case you missed it, my phone got stolen. Two, actually, got stolen. I think, oh, I lost it because it was just bizarre. I lost it. I'll tell you the story in another video. But for now, um, it's 11.30. I'm about to leave the house. Um, funny part is I was actually planning to go for a book study. There's a women's book study that goes on a church, um, at, which starts at 10 a.m. But see, these, um, mothering, interim mothering, um, duties would not let me go. I had a good morning because we had, um, so my mom goes to another church and they were having their small group meeting today, this morning at our place. So there was that. And then after that, making breakfast, making sure he has, um, Simeon has breakfast, giving him a bath and, you know, just all those good mothering stuff, finding a nice program for him to watch because he can't just watch TV. It is Saturday. Which means he can watch TV late morning, like around, starting like 10-ish. He can watch TV all the way to like, um, for like maybe an hour or two. And then he'll have lunch and nap and blah, blah, blah. And why am I giving you my nephew's schedule? I don't know. But anyway, that, that so that tells you what my schedule is like. Um, so we did all that good stuff. Had some time with my mom, which is always great. And now I'm about to head out and do some work but i do need to read um a book because i didn't get a bible study in this morning i got some prayers in but i didn't have um i didn't have enough time to get into the word because a small group meeting other than that i'm meeting the girls and we're gonna have a work date and i'm very excited for that and to get some work done Praise the Lord. so it is a bit windy but escalated guys if i fall off it was because i was walking Anyway, I'm currently at um, shop uh, light. Hi. Hi. Huh? Come up. Why? Okay. okay. As I was saying, we are currently at shoppers. 
and I was the camera settings were tripping and then somebody called me I just got a welcome to go visit a Chinese restaurant so I will definitely be visiting a Chinese restaurant but before that for today the plans have been cancelled actually let me give it an update plans have been cancelled so now I'm getting some groceries and then I'm going to add home which I'm not sure if they allow vlogging but here's to trying so that was a fun waste of time. I was looking for broccoli. I didn't find it. I was looking for um, milk, but specifically Kilimanjaro Fresh. I didn't find any. So that was fun. Today my time just keeps getting wasted. I think I've wasted like two hours so far. Let's go. Seventeen. Twenty seventeen was the other year that I don't know what it is. I the year after that I could not do it. Like I would start fast and then by afternoon I'm like by then I lived in a hostel. I remember I was in college and I'll be like, No my chips cook. <laughs> Let your chips say I I just I could not do it. I would see food, I would smell food, I just couldn't do it. I think I'm saying all this stuff because this video is truly meant for beginners. Like, um, yes, if you've done fasting before, if you're like seasoned fa fasting fasting Christian, then you know can encourage you or you it will just be entertainment to you or whatever. But this is especially for like beginning, uh, like beginners, beginner levels. Maybe you wanna do a Daniel fast, or you wanna do a day fast, or you, like you're just you're exploring. Maybe you're struggling with fasting. This is a good video for you. Or if you know a friend who want, who who's never fasted, who wants to fast, who would like to start fasting. Please send them, send them this video. This video is meant for them. I hope I'm making sense. Um, but yeah, again, I struggled so much. By 2018, um, I tried doing it again. But again, even in 2018, 2018 I literally was getting physical um, or, um, physical struggles like feeling dizzy, um, feeling... Um, and this is when I would just try maybe a day's fast, like day one. Like, I'm like, okay, maybe I'll fast for a day. And like by afternoon in that evening, like I would struggle. I would either get dizzy or... But again, I think at the time I wasn't like really following good instructions on how to fast. Again, I truly insist uh, Miles Monroe truly does a good job. And Vlad, they both do really good jobs of practical how-tos to fast. Because sometimes even when you're going to church, they can just say like, okay, let's do a fast. And... Ah, especially if you're doing a past 12 hours, like most um, churches, I think, do 12 hours, um, which is what I did in the beginning. But sometimes maybe you're doing a 12 hours fast and then um, maybe you're not home by 12 hours. Maybe at 12 hours, you are in a bus um, or you're walking or you're whatever and your day is hectic. Like there are truly some principles that will be insisted on that you truly need to learn. So fasting is also like something you need to learn. So um, and so is prayer. This is why you should visit your friends. Quality content right here. Baby Joe making the world a better place. The universe a better place. She's all, all she wanted was peace in the world. Why are people fighting? I just want peace. Blair, Blair and Green. Well, it's time to write you. You for what? You for who? For who? <laughs> Spelling left in the chance. <laughs> hey guys, I'm at Joe's. Um, I need to finish editing the video that I started yesterday. I need to do some voiceovers. I lost my phone, so I lost my mic. Um, the bonus is I just get to hang out with Joe. Lesson of the day: just find friends who actually like what doing what you do. You hang out for reasons like editing. Okay, you said you wanted to edit then. passes 2019 i i decide that okay for this 21 days i'm truly gonna be faithful and i do this daniel fast and it was really um it was one of the first faithful fasts i did like a long-term fast that i didn't break even in the middle like no matter what happens i remember like i was on my periods and like i was getting really bad stomach aches and so i remember ordering just a little bit of soup so i can drink meds um and that was the one day where i didn't eat what i was supposed to do but even me ordering soup was like there is no way i'm gonna eat meat or whatever like i need i i drink the soup without um the meat which is if you know me hey that's a lot um and literally um it, it was such a struggle for a long time but after that year after i managed that one it's almost like that's when at least the discipline became a little bit easier now 
again depending on the season because that fast that i plan as a christian i truly believe it should be a discipline like you should not be waiting for church you should not be waiting for uh maybe a group of friends like it should be a personal walk with you in the holy spirit the holy spirit guides you or um it's just like with our lives you know how um like you are, you can't sit and be like i'll read the bible when the holy spirit tells me like you're supposed to read your bible i truly believe you're supposed to pray like it's just it's a discipline it's just part of the walk when jesus talks about fasting and praying he doesn't talk about if he, he says when so these are all things that that is part of the christian walk to do so um for some people it's like once a week for some people it's like um a couple of days in a month or once a month um for some people it's like during a certain time of the year i like um also for some people it's just all the above like um with that said i think it's a very important discipline but it is a journey i said with the daniel fast to do what eventually by the end of that daniel fast i did a water fast for like seven days and that was the first uh, did it drag me to filth yes yes it did my friends thought i'm dying because <laughs> as you can tell this is me okay this guys this is me having gained weight like i just spent the last two weeks if you you watch this video i spent the last two weeks trying to gain weight so this is me like having gained weight so when i fast i i literally lose everything that i have so if you're skinny and your excuse is like ah like you know my body your body can handle it take it from a person who's made it or has gone all the way back to 49 kgs so like just me you're not too skinny to fast you, you can manage i'm not recommending it i'm saying get your health advice but trust me when i say if you have whatever other health conditions yes consider them pray about it do whatever with all that said there's a there's a there's a scripture that i want to share oh i actually have my bible close by today and today it's a little bit of a long story but i really like the story so i really want us to read it it should be in luke 15 oh, oh no 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 i don't think it's luke. ah yes perfect matthew 25 um verses 1 to Verses 1 to 13. Yeah, today we're reading a whole story, but B, this, this video is just um, a whole lesson. Okay? Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, thoughtless, silly, and careless. And I'm reading from the Amplified Version, so if it sounds longer than um, the version you're reading, just go with it, baby. Or if you're like reading along, just let's do it. Five of them were foolish, thoughtless, silly, and careless, and five were wise, far-sighted, practical, and sensible. For when the foolish took their lamps, they did not take any extra oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil along with their lamps. Now, while the bridegroom was delayed, they all began to nod off, and they fell asleep. But at midnight there was a shout, Look, the bridegroom is coming, go out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and put on their own, own lamps in order to trimmed their wigs and added oil and lit them. But the foolish virgins say to the wise, Give us some of your oil because our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, No, otherwise, no, otherwise there will not be enough for us and for you too. Go instead to the dealers and buy oil for yourselves. But while they were going away to buy oil, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding feast, and the door was shut and locked. Later the others also came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us open the door for us but he replied i assure you and most solemnly say to you i do not know you my biggest fear <laughs> okay it's not a fear but it's just what i would never want to happen to me we have no relationship therefore be on the alert be prepared and ready for you do not know the day nor the hour when the son of man will come so this is a story where Jesus is explaining like some of the signs that um that will this is towards the end of Matthew and Jesus is talking about um the signs of the times. He talks about how we will know like it's the end of the days, and he keeps on insisting like no one knows the day or the hour when the Son of Man will be coming back. And this particular story, the reason I want to share it in this video where we are talking about fasting is because uh, my understanding of this um passage that I want to share today is that. The Christian walk is not easy and there are many ways where one can slumber or one can sleep, one can stumble. But I truly believe that fasting is one of those ways 
that will carry you i think along this video i talk about the hard days the days where you do not expect when um hard things happen what is that one thing that will hold you together and i think fasting really does that it's not just fasting when things are really when you're really struggling for example it's so funny but for the ra for the last rust for the last um two months i actually really struggled to fast i don't know if i fasted at all i do remember this one time when i was trying to do i think my march fast and like i stopped midway because i was I was just cranky and I was just, I was shouting at everyone. It was like really bad. And I was like, there is no way this kind of fast is what the Lord would accept because I should have self-control. Fasting should help me be more humble. And um, it does definitely um, challenge you mood-wise. Like if you're already moody, it's going to make you like five times as moody. Like it's it's really a struggle for your body. Um, so i really struggled so i just ended up cutting the fast short i was like you know what i would rather just serve people in this season and then um again um and then figure it out but again that's only because even in that season i was using the oil that had been gathering in seasons when everything was fine i would just be like i'm just doing a fast for reasons friends friends of mine know like i'll just tell them like something wild like a wild decision i made i'm like you know what happened? I was in the middle of a fast. Like, just one of those fasts where nothing's happening. I'm just fasting because, you know, I want to spend more time with the Lord and on direction. Because, like, I need direction every other day, every other month, you know? And the instructions that would come from it, first of all, one thing fasting is going to do is always give you clarity. Like, you just get out of it with, like, more clarity about something than you have had before. It might not be clarity across the board, but there will be at least one part of your life where the Lord is just... Psh, and like, that's one of the best blessings that I've experienced with fasting. And those are, like, the blessings of on, of this... um Like, physical blessings, literally. Or mental blessings, literally. Um, but on the spiritual side, it grows you. It grows your character. It grows you in your love of the Word, in your love of His presence, encounters, like... There's experiences that I've had with the Lord during fasting that I've never had before, but I've also had, especially over the years after I've fasted for such a long time, the fasting is really dry. Like, if you're an emotional worshiper and you're used to, like, crying during worship, I kid you not, I've had fasts where I'm like, I felt, King of World being felt, I felt you more when I wasn't fasting than I'm feeling you in this fast. But again, it wouldn't make me give up because it has become a discipline. I'm like, I signed up to fast and so I'm going to fast. And so it gives you all for the days that are so hard that you can't fast, that things are happening in your life, that, you know, you're going through battles that you never thought you'd go through. You're going through challenges, mind confusions, you know, just life with life. And one of the best ways to make sure that you have enough oil for when the life lives is fasting but second of all is now the actual story in this bible it's talking about the master coming back the master being jesus that it's one of those things that will keep you spirit that will grow you spiritually which as you grow and mature spiritually that's why um the bible talks about do not be babes like mature in the things of the spirit um not tossed you should uh, okay I'll, I'll put the verse here i'm butchering it but basically you should we should all grow and not be tossed to and fro with the winds and waves of um with every wind of doctrine that is shown like one of the ways to become a stable christian is definitely fasting because what fasting does is you're replacing all the entertainment and leisure and food in your life with the word what does the word do build your faith build your standing you now know more about christ than you know of the world which obviously helps your christian walk and keeps you faithful to that day when he comes back so um it's definitely one of my favorite disciplines it's definitely one of my most challenging disciplines because if you watch this channel you know we enjoy food we enjoy tasting new food we enjoy um just snacking we enjoy um um eating and these days i'm more aware of like saying eating because i'm realizing how much i don't eat as much food as people expect me to because i hype food so much and then end up eating like this piece you know so i i love food so it's always like a true sacrifice for me to like say ah I'm pushing away food. I'm pushing away, like, you know, when I fast, I try to not watch movies. When I fast, it's become hard over the years because social media is becoming more and more of my job. I mean, I'm not a full-time creative. Um, but even with that, like, I've had seasons where, like, I'm like, if this was work, this is where I literally put in my leave 
to go and spend time with the Lord. So like I would take time off social media, even as a creative, just to spend time with the Lord. So taking time off social media, taking time off movies, taking time off like mainstream music. Um, I don't listen to a lot of mainstream music anyway, but I'll, around my during my fasting season, I don't listen to any at all. Um, but um, just, you know, just trying to fill, fill up my day, fill up my time with the presence of God. And I am the Christian that I am today by the grace of God um by the grace of god and the grace that is given the holy spirit has given me to fast to pray to be in the word and i'll definitely totally encourage you to do the same anyone everyone can do this this is literally basic level but the fast that we should all aspire to grow to is jesus christ fasting as a human being for 40 days and 40 nights with only water have i reached that no do do i um think i'll reach it i don't know bro i almost i almost I, First things have um, done things to me, but you know, if the Lord ever leads there, we will go. Cause why not? There are um, people who have done it. Um, but truly, um, I recommend personally, I recommend not necessarily 40 days a person. I recommend trying to grow to a point of 24 hours without food, like not the 12 hours, whether now that will be for you 24 hours, 48 72 um, more than that that's up to you but i truly recommend water fast i truly recommend um now with water fast when it's long term like seven days 21 days usually people do like um will include herbal teas and will include maybe um some apple juice naturally made don't the the buying one will still get you through but like i would definitely recommend like if you're doing juice even in this video a lot of the times you'll see me drinking like fresh made juice i definitely always recommend if you're doing a fast especially long term do fresh made juice thank me later because <laughs> if you if you've done both or if you try doing both you'll see the difference just, just letting you know for more um christian based content here are thank you so much for watching i love you jesus loves you so much Praise on the mountain, yeah I'll praise when I'm so